Mike from Regala Photography, where we talk about everything photography. Today, we're going to address how do you choose the right photography equipment for your needs and your current budget, whether you're just starting out or looking to upgrade. We've got you covered here. Uh, in a previous video, um, I did one about gas, gear acquisition syndrome. Uh, I talked about always having the urge to purchase new gear in hopes it'll make your photography better. Uh, I'll include, a, I also included a checklist that you can use to help determine what your needs are so you don't go overboard. Um, I'll include the link to that video and a link to that checklist in the description below. So let's get started. Before diving into the vast sea of cameras, lenses, and accessories, let's start with the basics, your photography needs. With so many options available on the market, choosing the right equipment for your photography needs can be very overwhelming. It's important to consider your specific needs and budget before making any purchases. Uh, are you a landscape photographer, studio portrait photographer, or even a street photographer. Uh, each genre has its own gear and requirements. Remember, the best camera is the one that suits your style and helps you bring your vision to life. Keep in mind that some of this equipment can overlap into other genres. Consider the features that matter to you most. Low light performance, resolution, autofocus capabilities, and don't forget about size and weight if you're always on the go. Lenses are another important consideration. It's important to invest in high quality lenses that are suited for your specific type of photography. Consider focal length, aperture, and image stabilization. Features when choosing a lens. Now let's talk about numbers. Uh, while it may be tempting to splurge on the latest and greatest equipment, it's important to set a realistic budget and stick to it. Consider purchasing used or refurbished equipment to save uh, money while you're getting still getting high quality gear. Um, I started as a teenager uh, in the late 1980s. There were no digital cameras at the time, so I had to learn on a uh, film camera, uh, Nikon EM, which I actually still have to this day. Uh, I couldn't learn from YouTube or even online it, it didn't exist. So I was books and wasting a lot of film before I realized I wasn't ready for photography yet. Fast forward to seven, eight years ago, I bought my first iPhone. I began relearning uh, photography basics on my phone using my phone's camera. Uh, people liked my photos. So I eventually bought a refurbished Canon uh, T7i and two lenses. Uh, I studied, learned how to edit my photos, and then I purchased the Canon EOS R, my first mirrorless camera. Currently, I'm using a Canon R5. So you really don't have to start buying a pro level camera, especially if you're just starting out. Photography can be an expensive hobby, but with smart choices, you can stick to your budget without compromising on quality. Uh, start by setting a clear budget for your gear. Remember, it's not just about the camera body. Lenses, memory cards, and protective gear also add up. Don't rush into buying everything at once. Prioritize based on your needs. A good lens can make a bigger difference on, it, on image quality than the camera body itself. Then don't forget about the accessories. And this is where many of us can go overboard like I do. Depending on your genre of photography, you'll need tripods, lens filters, lighting equipment like flashes or studio lights, and of course, a camera bag to carry all this equipment to your photo shoots. Um, let's not forget editing software so you can tweak your photos into masterpieces, especially since eventually most of you will probably start shooting your photos in RAW, which you have to edit those photos. So you see, you can't just dump all your money into a high-end camera body and expect to head out and become an award-winning photographer. As I mentioned earlier, lenses should be your biggest investment. You can get an inexpensive camera body 
to take amazing photos. The lens is the eye of the camera. What it sees will be in your photo. Okay? So stick with an ecosystem that works for you and something that you can build upon. With your needs and budget in mind, it's time to hit the research trail. This could be fun, but also financially dangerous. I know I'm like a kid in a candy store when I'm researching new gear. Uh, dive into the reviews, watch comparison videos, and join photography forums and Facebook groups. The photography community is incredible, incredibly supportive and full of insights. Don't hesitate to ask for recommendations. But remember, when you ask, you're gonna get a boatload of recommendations. Hey, I'm not sure if you knew about this, but um, I have a photography newsletter that you could sign up for on my website, regalaphotography.com. I include my latest videos, expert photography tips, and all the exciting news from Regala Photography. Sign up now and never miss an update on enhancing your photography skills and keeping up with my journey as a photographer and also with my site and social media pages. You can sign up at the link in the description below. It's free and I absolutely hate spam. So I will not be sending you any at all. So if you want spam, well then I guess the newsletter isn't for you. Well, thanks for your support and don't forget to click that like button and hit subscribe as well. Nothing beats the hand-on experience or a hands-on experience. If possible, visit your local camera store and get a feel for different cameras and lenses. Also get to know the staff that works there because you can definitely pick their brains as well. You know, how does the equipment fit in your hand? Is the menu uh, system intuitive for you? Remember comfort and ease of use are crucial for capturing those magical moments. A few pointers. Uh, Canon makes the best menu interface of all the camera systems. They are so easy to use. Sony has the absolute best ecosystem when it comes to lenses. You can save a ton of money by purchasing third-party lenses. Uh, Canon will be coming out with third-party lenses for its RF line, so stay tuned for that. So don't forget about the second-hand market. Many photographers upgrade their gear regularly, leaving a treasure trove of well-maintained equipment at a fraction of the cost. But just make sure that you ask a lot of questions and look at the return policies before you buy used gear. While the right gear is important and fun to purchase, nothing surpasses the power of knowledge and practice. Invest in your skills. There are countless online courses workshops and books dedicated to photography. Remember, a more expensive camera won't make you a better photographer, but understanding light composition and storytelling will. People get sick of me always saying, learn the exposure triangle and you'll know 90% of what you need about photography. Don't forget, I have a lot of videos in, uh, in my site here Regala Photography, all about uh, tips and tricks for photography, editing, etc. So don't forget to check those out. Choosing the right photography equipment is a journey, one that's unique to every photographer. By understanding your needs, setting a budget, doing thorough research, and investing in your skills, you'll be well on your way to capturing the, uh, the world in your own unique way. Remember, the best photos are not just seen, they are also felt. So go out there, explore, and let your creativity shine. If you found my video helpful, please subscribe to the channel and click that like button. It really, really does help me. Ring that bell if you want to be notified when my next video is posted. Until next time, take care, everyone.